Hi guys, welcome back to Waxing On. It's Monday and that means jazz. But today we're also looking at a kind of a soundtrack album as well. Uh, the band I'm looking at is one I discovered again from Reading Downbeat, which was really what opened my eyes to a lot of different performers and groups. And this is a group called Sex Mob. Yeah, we're doing an album called Sex Mob Does Bond. Now, if you remember back, oh, I think we did the James last episode. In the latter part of that, we talked about Derek Watkins, who was a trumpet player who played with not only James Last, but he was also the trumpet player on every James Bond soundtrack from Dr. No Ray through to Skyfall, and all the music written by John Barry. So we've already kind of covered a little bit about Bond music, but this album really delves into it. Firstly, Stephen Bernstein is the leader of the band. He plays slide trumpet. You can kind of see a little shadow of it there. And if you can picture a slide trumpet, it's figure out a trombone that's about this long. Uh, maybe about a foot and a half. Plays like a trumpet. It's in the same key as the trumpet. Uh, slide positions are pretty close to what the trombone ones are. I've, I've actually got one around the studio here. I just wasn't able to dig it out in time for the show. But it does take some work. Being a trumpet player used to play with valves, moving to the slide was a bit of a trick. And in all honesty, I never spent the time to get it under my hands. But uh, it is a nice instrument. It's fun to play but it does take some work for us to transition from valves into that slide position. It uses a regular trumpet mouthpiece, sounds like a trumpet range. It's uh, just kind of a fun instrument to have. Anyways, Bernstein, you may remember, we mentioned him in passing during the Carla Blay episode. He had played trumpet on the Carla Blay's Very Big Band album. Well, the idea of Sex Mob was a band he put together to be able to showcase his work on slide trumpet. And this was really what the band was all about in the first place. But this one decided to do some Bond themes. And all the music, except for one song, is written by John Barry. Not all of it are theme songs. Uh, some of it is incidental music that they've arranged. Uh, just to give you some idea of the history on it, I'm just going to read you what uh, he had written in the liner notes here. And this is from Stephen Bernstein. It says, this music was originally put together as part of the Knitting Factories." Sound of Film Festival. And since he was both a Knitting Factory regular and had been a ranger for the films like Get Shorty and Robert Altman's Kansas City, he was offered a night at the festival. Now Bond was already part of the Sex Mob repertoire. Uh, Goldfinger and Live and Not Die had been on their first CD. So it was natural he was going to expand on this. So he called this a soundtrack to a fictional Bond movie that didn't, you know, didn't exist. He's using music from Goldfinger, on Her Majesty's Secret Service, For Russia With Love, The Spy Who Loved Me, and You Only Live Twice. And again, a lot of incidental music. I think the one song that I recognize in here was Nobody Does It Better. That was actually one of the theme songs. So in the band, we've got Stephen Bernstein on slide trumpet, Rick and Koss on alto sax and baritone sax, Tony Schur on bass, and Kenny Wilson on drums. Now they've added an organ player on here to kind of fill out some of those orchestrations, uh, John Medeski. The album is very interesting. I mean, the arrangements, their take on it, the way they perform everything. It's not really a soundtrack as much as using Bond themes as a place to go. Uh, we do have You Only Live Twice on here, uh, so I did mention there was not a lot of themes. They wrote one original one called Dr. Yes. I mean, obviously you play on Dr. No. And I was thinking this was a, kind of a neat new modern album to uh, kind of showcase. And then I got looking at it, and it was recorded in 2001. 20 years ago. 20 years I've had this album. Who would have thought? But if you've never listened to the band, and I know they're on the streaming networks, uh, hard copies are available as well, give it a bit of a listen, especially if you're a trumpet player. Get an idea of what this slide trumpet's all about and what he does with that. And it's, uh, it's pretty amazing what this band puts together for a small group. So that's it for today. We were looking at the band Sex Mob and the album that I have, I guess that's the only one I have, but one of my favorites because it was all Bond music was Sex Mob Does Bond. Okay, that's it for today. We'll see you again on Wednesday when we'll be looking at classic rock. Everybody take care. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you then.